As Seattle grows, so does enrollment in Seattle Public Schools. We welcome each and every student and have more than 100 schools located throughout the city. Most schools are attendance area schools with students assigned based on their home address. Each attendance area school has a boundary and students within the boundary are assigned to that school. As more students enroll in the district, some schools end up with more students living within the boundary than the space available in a school. When a school has more students than the number of seats it was designed for, the school is considered overcapacity. Overcapacity schools don't provide optimal learning environments, so changes must be made. When new schools are built or additions are added to create more capacity, boundary changes occur. Boundary changes may also be made when one school is crowded and another has room for more students. Our district follows a specific process when considering boundary changes, and changes are designed to balance enrollment based on current and future enrollment. Data, such as new housing, student enrollment, and projected growth is reviewed, and school leaders are consulted. This information is used to draw draft maps for new boundary areas. Next, we engage the community to share the draft maps and ask for input and feedback. This engagement happens through open houses or community meetings and surveys. Families also send email feedback. Community input is considered along with additional or updated data and then used to revise the draft maps. The revised draft maps and a summary of the community's input are submitted to the Seattle School Board as recommended boundary changes. The school board then considers the recommendation and takes action by voting on the boundary changes. Once the process is complete, the approved school boundary changes typically go into effect for the next school year. Please visit our website to learn more 